what is going on guys welcome back to a new series of videos that i'm going to make on building diet gpt and uh, so this is actually something i've been working on in my own app as many of you know i've been working on my own health app nanai that's available as a first release on the app store and you can try it out um, some of the features like diet gpt is still in the beta but uh, in this video series, we're going to try to build it. Like, how do you build these, this kind of project from scratch? And um, we're going to go into, you know, like building it step by step um, and starting out simple, adding functionality. Um, and in the end, we will have something very similar to the demo that I want to show you now that's in the app. Uh, I mean, I use it every day now. Uh, it's replaced chronometer. Uh, for me, it's much more seamless and uh, just an easier way of tracking. Um, so, you know, I can go back to certain days. I can look at, you know, as I'm trying to lose weight as well, the calories is important, but obviously need, want to have good protein intake uh, to, to, you know, preserve as much muscle as I can. But in addition, you know, I can check, all right, how is my micronutrients looking? Um, because we do data database matching. Uh, we can find, you know, all right, Am I getting enough fiber, which for many days is quite difficult, you know? And how is my vitamin intake? But in addition to that, right, we can find patterns like which micronutrients are leading to better recovery scores in terms of HRV. So for me, I've found that higher omega 3s, higher magnesium helps a lot uh, to increase HRV. Um, and so in addition, you know, just finding deficiencies. Like if I don't eat spinach or green ve vegetables, vitamin K is quite difficult to get. Um, yeah, like you'll find things like this basically, which is interesting when you do track to try to uh, become more aware of your diet, all of these things, right? Uh, so yeah, like <laughs> that was a lot of rambling. But anyways, I want to show you um, just like how it works now um, and to give you an idea of what we're going to try to build uh, in this video series. So basically like uh, we have, like you can add manually. So like if I do cashew, cashew nuts or something, like I can add them uh, from the food database directly using search. That's good, right? But in many cases you wanna have that more flexibility, which is visually estimating. And although it's not perfect and we're gonna evaluate this model, right? To see exactly how good are we at estimating the calories and so on um, in you know an upcoming video in this series but for that we need to you know be able to analyze some a photo so here i went to this subreddit here uh basically of people looking at their diet their meals and like tracking uh and they're trying to eat 1500 i don't recommend that i think that's way too for most people at least that's not very much but um Anyways, uh, let's take this one. So the correct label for this one is like 620, but let's just see like how it works. So you can either just say like, okay, analyze this, uh, or you can tell it specifically as well, like which uh, are in it. Uh, that will help obviously in its prediction. And then it will focus primarily on the estimating the quantities. So that kind of helps uh, the model a bit. But so like in this case, uh, yeah, like if we just take it out of the box here and I promise I didn't, <laughs> I just took the first one that looked like a real meal. Uh, so I didn't like try a bunch of different ones for this, uh, but it's like pretty accurate on this one. But let's look on the, um, so it's, it's it matches to chicken breast cooked lean, 150 grams. Honestly, that might sound a bit much. I don't know. Like maybe we would lower, maybe 150 grams. Okay, pineapple raw, 50 grams. Also, it sounds a little bit high, I would say. Uh, bell peppers sounds good. Um, and uh, so, so basically, uh, right here, we're using GPT for estimating the ingredients, but then we're matching them in our food database. And so this gives us micronutrient information as well, uh, which GPT wouldn't give us, obviously. And the score here indicates how good of a match our matching algorithm thinks or matching model thinks this is 
to what GPT said, basically. So it might be a little bit confusing here, like the 87% just tells us that it believes this is a pretty good match for the chicken that it sees. And um, uh, the peas, it says it's a pretty bad match, probably because it has these like frozen cooked, uh, that's uh, a bit confusing, I don't know. Uh, maybe this should be iterated, you know, maybe we should just have peas or something here, peas cooked, you know. And it says ri brown rice, which is not, I would say this is white rice. Shrimp raw, so it recognizes the shrimp here. That's pretty good. Um, and it says the peas two times, which is not so good. Uh, don't know why it did that. That's a bad demo. <laughs> Anyways, like it misses some stuff here as well. So we can say like um, you added uh, peas twice. It should only be one. I don't know why it did that, honestly. It might recognize different types of peas or something. Probably, uh, like he thought this was peas as well, which I guess is true. Um, so like we should say it should be edamame, edamame and peas separately. Um, also, there's some small amount of sweet and sour sauce. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, cool. So then uh, let's see, like it didn't change these too much uh oh yeah we forgot to say that it should be white rice but uh it's okay you know edamame uh raw and then the peas yeah all right i think probably like the grams are not perfect here you can do that right like you can modify it but let's just say this is like pretty much good enough for me i would say like even if this was not absolutely perfect in the gram amount like if you're getting enough of green vegetables, you're either getting it or you're not. Like that's most of the time, right? And even though the calories is not perfect, like it's pretty damn close, you know? Um, so we can just say like, hey, store it. And uh, basically now we get that information here. Um, we can look at, you know, exactly what's contributing to the, to the fiber. So, you know, brown rice here has some fiber, which is not completely correct right that's why we need to tell it you know it should be white rice instead uh and but now we can basically i won't just delete this because i didn't i didn't eat this <laughs> so anyways uh that's what we're gonna try to build in this series and um if you're curious about you know becoming healthier uh, learning to track or tracking stuff which i believe is a fundamental thing to actually become healthier if you track it you will start to actually uh, optimize it and um, so you have like a clear objective function uh, i recommend you join the discord i'm trying to build like a community of people who are into you know data and tracking and but also becoming healthier and that's obviously what the app is about and yeah join the discord and i'll see you in the next video